ask the doctor with, well, actually not even ask the doctor, it's just the uh, Dr. Von Periscope, where we have a, a patient here who has agreed to uh, be on Periscope as we inject her shoulder with the cortisone injection, which we'll be getting going very shortly. Now, she uh, prefers to remain anonymous, so we won't ask a whole lot of questions so that your voice is not out there for the whole public to hear, but you don't mind people seeing the back of your arm as you get an injection, so we'll go ahead and get started with the injection. And if you have comments or questions, go ahead and Kaylin ask. Kaylin says, hey, Dr. Vaughn, how are you? Hi, <laughs> thank you for the greetings. We're glad to have you participate. We will go ahead and get started with getting the prep done. This is betadine, a form of iodine, and its purpose is to be a disinfectant, to kill off any viruses or bacteria that might be living on her skin. And we start with one and go from the middle and we go out in concentric circles. And it works best if you give it some time to dry off because it's the drying of the iodine with the bacteria that, that kills them. And so we'll let that just kind of sit there in the, in the air for a little bit. Again, any comments or questions, go ahead. While that is just sitting there, it's okay to let it drip because it's not getting on any clothing. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and get some things ready. I'm going to throw this away and change into another pair of gloves, which I'll have ready. The, a little bit about what's been going on here. This has been hurt. This has hurt before, and she's had an injection in the past, and it gave great results. It was able to relieve the pain, and she was able to get a range of motion back, be able to do activities that involve motion of the shoulder without it hurting. Now, over the last month or so, it's been hurting again, especially with raising it up to a certain level. I'll go ahead and demonstrate here. Are you going here. to do a local injection of lidocaine? Oh, we, we will use uh, not lidocaine, but bupivacaine, and I'll show you how I do that in a moment. So about here, it would start hurting any higher. It hurts more, and it hurts to uh, make Christmas cookies because uh, <laughs> it takes using the arm on a press, and that aggravates the pain. I'm going to just wave it here to kind of help the process of, of drying. Although this stuff gets really sticky as it dries. I'm going to use some other gloves on. Now, somebody was asking about anesthetic. I have in this syringe three milliliters or cubic centimeters for cc's. Let me just get the little bubble out there of um, bupivacaine or, or marcaine is the brand name of it. And it's a local anesthetic that acts a little bit longer, lasts a little bit longer than lidocaine. Uh, its onset isn't necessarily as fast, although it's still really quick in how, how quickly it works. Now, I'm not truly um, sterile here, but I am putting on some sterile gloves, just in an effort to help keep things clean. As you notice, the, the syringe was actually um, already out, and we don't have any problem with that. And I am, at this point at least, using sterile technique. And now that's had some time to get drier. It's not completely dry, but it's mostly dry. I'm going to start with the bupivacaine or marking. As you can see, we have a, a clear liquid of medicine there. Any comments mm -hmm. or questions? Not yet. Okay. So here's what I'm doing. I'm finding the chromium and putting my thumb right there and then finding the uh, end of the clavicle here. So he's saying, does it hurt? <laughs> does that hurt? Yeah. That hurts when I push on it? Okay. So the thumb is going under the bone. You can kind of see I don't know if you can see on the uh, on the video though. Oh, I'm getting hearts. Thank you for the hearts. It, it kind of pushes in right there, and so I can feel that it's in the joint. I'm not pushing too hard. And then this finger over here is on top of the end of the clavicle where it comes together. And what I want to do is go in where the thumb is and aim for where my finger is up here. And here's the shot. Ready? And we're getting into the shoulder joint. I'm going to draw back to see if we're in something we shouldn't be. Now I'm seeing blood coming in. I'm going to give a little bit of an injection. It probably hurts. Is it hurting you? It is. Okay. And then I'm going to switch, even though I haven't used all the medicine yet, to... Somebody says they want prison. to study medicine. Any advice, please? Make sure that you love treating people. Mm -hmm. And here's some cortisone. And it goes in a little slower, although not too slow. That's one of the ways you tell that you're in a structure you shouldn't be, is how hard is it to push the medicine in? And if it's really hard to push it in, 
You need to not force it because that means you're probably in a tendon or something else that you mm -hmm. shouldn't be in. And then I don't know if you can see that little, yep. see that coming back in yep. there? That shows that I'm in the same space as where I injected the cortisone mm -hmm. and not in a blood vessel, otherwise blood would have pulled back. Someone says, thank you so much. Okay. This is my passion. Oh, good. Thank you. Glad to help. All right, the medicine's all the way in, so I just pull it out. And at this point, the, the anesthetic is already in place. The cortisone is in place. And we should actually be able to get some results. So go ahead and try to move it in the motions that would normally hurt. Before... But you give me something for pain. Yeah, the anesthetic works right away. So how does that feel? Yeah. Can you tell? So or she's nodding her head that it, it, it made a difference. Let me go ahead and sign off so we can let the patient get dressed. Thank you for joining us. We're glad to have you be a part of this. If you if you don't already follow, swipe right to follow and share with your friends. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can also subscribe to the Auburn Medical Group channel where you can catch these even after they're not on Periscope anymore. And if you are watching on YouTube and you'd like to see these live and participate when they happen and be able to talk with us, you can uh, follow me on Periscope at Dr. Vaughn. Until next time, this is Dr. Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.